Wednesday night under rather controversial circumstances. And there they are, the Magpies of Western Suburbs. Their captain, Warren Boland, Jim Lee's playing in the centres, as far as we know. Ken Hay at long. Premiers, St. George, taken out by their captain, Craig Young. Their coach is Harry Bath. And Michael Soradini comes onto the flank to replace Mitch Brennan. This is placing the ball for the guest kickoff by Katrina Lee. I hope she's got her scripts in order. I wouldn't <laughs> bend over like that, Katie. And there's her first attempt. She's missed it. Oh, my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen. She got her contact lenses in. This time she's got it away, but it hasn't gone the required, uh, quiet, required 10. So, and you'll see plenty of him. He's wearing a, a very conspicuous headgear, and there it is. Time on, Western Suburbs and St. George. And Michael Soradimi, first man to get a touch of the ball and a touch of the Magpies. On his own 22 line. Dowling. Donnelly and Merlo hunting as a pair. Dummy half is Buckley. Now Craig Young. St. George in that uh, first round, they virtually played it cool, calm and collected for the first 40 minutes before they tried anything very uh, much. Graham Wynn getting a kick in and a big one. Sending it right down and finding touch. What a great kick by Graham Wynn. St. George running with the aid of the breeze in the first half. Quite a breeze too. Played by Buckley. Morris. Johnston, the centre. Tidied up by Gitto. St. George now. Ten metres out from their own quarter line. Young. Bullocking ahead. Tackler was Ken Hay. Morris. Trudge it. Ready. Robert Finch. Away from Boland's tackle. Soradimi to the halfway line. And a crossing cover out there is Terry Lamb. Inside the quarter. About four metres. Young, ready, win. Cooper and Donnelly in the tackle, coming over the top third man was Merlo and there was a swinging arm. And uh, Graham Wynn is smiling. Oh, now Donnelly lets one go from the ground. Stick uh, Western Suburb side. And, uh, too many samples before this match because that kick has got length but no the direction was off but he has kicked a goal earlier on as Rebo oh he's left a trail of Saints behind him and that's a charge down for St George and Steve Morris turns them around down to the 22 line lost and Jeffries has it for the Magpies absolutely well nearly praying for somebody to arrive they came too late Merlo, a long pass and that seemed to be knocked on, but referee Danzi said no, backwards, and Donnelly it is, recovering for Western Suburbs. Getting dark here at uh, Lidcombe, that's being brought about by the uh, sun going behind a bank of rather ominous-looking clouds. This man looks ominous for St. George. It's Bob Cooper coming on the inside of Smith. He'll pass, will he? Oh, Giddo has put it down. Well, Cooper seemed to... Well, he plays free kick taken by John Dowling, given up to Soradimi. And uh, St. George uh, back near the 22 line. Western Suburbs into the field. Morris showing it twice, then to trudge it. Now to Buckley. And Buckley! A few metres inside the quarterway line. Least the final tackler. Dowling, Young, ready. Here comes Jansen. That's him in 13. And the Magpies are now called upon to defend. And how? Craig Young. Young goes himself, turns it for Robert Finch. He basketballs it for Brian Johnston. That's a try for mine. I'm looking at the touch judge. He seemed to put a hand up and then took it down again. I think it's a try. It is. Yes, a try to the Dragons. They lead 5-0 in Channel 10's big game. And midway between the 22 and the halfway line, that's Western Suburbs in possession now. St. George's into the ground. Donnelly pops it back for Paul Merlo. Merlo finds Alan Neal and Neal is swapped five metres inside the quarterway line St George briefly at sixes and sevens Ken Hay Wayne Smith is coming on the outside but Hay is well tackled by Reddy and by Trudgett West now with Lamb away to Tom Arbour 
Center field. Eight meters inside the 22 line. Lamb. The kick. Cooper's going after it. And uh, it's come down off St. George. And they forced it. I thought for a moment. St. George 5. Western Suburbs 2 in Channel 10's big game as Morris goes away for St. George. Still deep inside St. George territory. That's Buckley. Hay over the top with Alan Neal. Jansen now. Dowling. Young. Graham Wynn. And they're right on the 22 line now, St. George. A 10-metre gain by the big second rower. Back to Dowling, away through Young. It's gone over the head of Morris. And it's on the ground. And Lease, Lease will score. Yes, that's a try. Jim Lease has picked up the, uh, the gauntlet and plunged it down. Western Suburbs, centre three-quarter Lease capitalises. Is in to put the talented St. George full back to ground. The skies above us looking blacker, if anything. Very threatening as Reddy also looks threatening. And he goes down and looks on the inside for a runner. He's picked up Michael Soradimi, who's tackled about seven metres out from the quarter line. Young. Trudgett. Oh, there was a bad pass from Craig Young again. It was at the bootlaces of Trudgett. It was reserved for reserves and... Graham Eady probably hasn't been the Graham Eady that we've come to know. Oh, that tackle was high. This will be interesting. He's off. Paul Merlot has been sent from the field of play. Here's the Channel 10 head on. And there goes Merlot. And there is just no doubt that that tackle was uh, dangerously high. And I think you'll find that's the second time that Paul Merlot has uh, been given his marching orders in 1980 we know that Wests are uh, a gutsy side but with Merlot being one of their better players and off oh gee and so the place free kick on the 22 line Philip Graham Playing it back to John Dowling. Trudgett. Win. And Buckley. Buckley scores for St. George. Oh, it looked so easy, didn't it? St. George 10, West 9. Lamb. Lamb! He's over the halfway and down midway between the 22 and halfway line. Good break by the 5'8". Rebo, Smith, looks at Jim Lease to go on the inside. Smith now to play the ball without any gain in ground. Ken Hay taken by Reddy and uh, Buckley. 10 metres out from the 22 line. St. George has entered the field. St. George leading by a point in Channel 10's big game. It's with Bob Cooper now. And Cooper pops it round the corner. Jimmy Lease, I think he'll make it. Yes, it's a try. It's his second of the match. And I think it's number nine for the year, is it? Referee Danzy ruling no try. Well. Let me see that on the replay. Don't tell me they've blown this. Well, they obviously have. The pass from Cooper to Lease. And it's obviously been in the grounding of the ball. Johnson in for the tackle. Ah, oh, well, he was tackled short and lost it short. Died, but the scrum possession, the glut of possession in the second half, they've won five scrums of uh, the only five decided. Jeffries across to uh, Tom Arbor. Arbor's about 10 metres out and looking for support. Oh, he's lost it with the uh, goal line practically there for the taking. It's, uh, it's quite an argument against those that believe Saturday football is a thing of the past. A, a very big crowd here. Gitto, Cooper, 
Cooper. Back to Terry Lamb. And they're about 10 metres out from their own quarter line now. So uh, St George leading by one point as Ken Hay floats it out to John Rebo. Rebo takes it down towards the half. He's around his man. He's very fast. He's lost it. It was a good tackle, though, by the same token from Graham Wynn. But this is the last tackle for Western Suburbs. Neil. Chip over the top. Well placed, too. Right in between three... Oh, Alan Neil has got possession back. Terry Lamb, he's gone within about 12 metres at the line. But that could have been uh, the most sensational moment in Sydney League for 1980. Oh! St George players getting some bad bounces and Alan Neal in there figuring in the play still as Tom Arbor takes it about 12 to 15 metres out from the line. Gitto now. Offloads through Arbor. Now with Dallas Donnelly. Donnelly looks around and he finds Ken Hay who's about two metres out from the line. Jeffries is the dummy half. A quick ball for Neal. He scores! That's a magpie try and they can't deny one black and white power are on quite an angle 14 points to 10 in this match in the last nine minutes they're giving a four point start west's one man down and have been since paul merlo was sent off and that sensation here's terry lamb with another great break for western suburbs that uh, incident of paul merlo's came at the 54th minute hey to the halfway mark. Donnelly, Cooper, and I think Wests will be fairly content to try and shut this one down through the big men like this fellow, Tom Arbor. Gitto. Nine metres on the St George side of the halfway. Uh, Donnelly, Rebo came from the left flank, knocked down by a St George player, picked up by Lees, but the referee said it. Jeffries, Donnelly, Cooper. Well, they can't get up any slower. <laughs> Terry Lamb, a shot for drop goal. I think it's good. Yes, Terry Lamb has widened the gap. 15 points to 10 in favour of the men they call the Hungry Magpie. Take it one man out. Consuming time. Why wouldn't they? They're a tired lot. There's only been 12 of them for the last uh, 26 minutes anyway. And the scrum packing down about 15 metres away from the St George uh, quarter line. Incidentally, talking about John Dowling not winning many scrums in the second half, though he won that one, he's got the second best average of uh, the hookers in Sydney. But today he's been thoroughly outpointed by the West's uh, front row, 16 to 8. A loose ball, and uh, it'll be a knock on, and a scrum packing down just on St George's side of the halfway, and I make it. We're in the last five seconds of this game now. There it is, full time. And what a roar! What a roar from the Magpie supporters of Lidcombe. 15 points to 10 in favour of the home side. It's a very jubilant Magpie team. They took this as a grand final. And those smiles and those clenched fists and the hugging masters in amongst it all. Well, the picture tells the story. I wonder will it be a similar story in mid-September? The man of the match for you in just a moment.